What is up everyone? I am Bishop Brawler and you are watching the 8th episode in the Road to 802 series. Today we're diving back into LC which we've been twice before to play around with Carvana. Now, Carvana is actually a very solid Pokemon. I believe it's currently A rank in uh, Little Cup on the viability rankings and it does its job quite well. Uh, it's mainly, it's viability mainly resides in its ability speed boost combined with a solid attack set of 19. Um, which results in it being able to ro just straight up roll over certain teams that lack a switch into it. Especially with Psychic Fangs being really good coverage with Fighting types and, uh, and Fungus. Uh, which are its major annoyances. Uh, and it's just all around a pretty solid Pokemon. It's mainly used as a late game cleaner, but it can definitely be quite an effective wall breaker as well. And I am personally one of the few people that believes in the Psyche and Z set to be actually decent. Um, as uh, on Psychic and or, or Dark and Water Spam teams to break through fighting types that you would normally struggle with. Anyway, that's not the set we're running today. These EVs are also wrong. IVs, I need to be 19 HP because that will lower the, the damage that Carvana takes from Life Orb by 1. Because we're running Life Orb, but that is the cleaner set which is just does a crazy amount of damage. Uh, and in the late game can run over weakened teams relatively easily. Now, uh, while Carvana is solid, as I said, uh, it suffers from, most notably, uh, Timber and Krogong's presence in the metagame. Because it just goes down to their Vacuum Wave and, or Mach Punch. Other way around. Timber has Mach Punch, Krogong has Vacuum Wave. Which is a huge issue for us. It's because it means that every, against all te any team with those on it, it either has to click Psychic Punch, uh, Psychic Fangs every time. And even then it'll just... <laughs> to, to not let them free uh, give them a switch in and let them kill you. Or it... Uh, uh, or they'll just go down. And even if it does, they could simply come in on a sack and then force it out immediately again. So, to get around that, we have a why not. Uh, what this why not does, it's also super fast, as you can see, absolute max speed with 13. Um, this is one point faster than Timber, uh, the most common Timber set, and it's also faster than slow Krogunk. Usually Krogunk is fast, but that doesn't really matter. So what happens is this why not switches in on the obvious Mach Punch or Vacuum Wave, um, which it easily takes. It takes like 2 HP from that. Uh, then it clicks Encore, be and because it's faster, they get locked into that uh, Mach Punch or Vacuum Wave, and then it simply slowly kills them with Counter. And once they are gone, Carvana can generally run over a team relatively easily. Uh, it's... In, it just, this is a very solid core. Carvanaut is one of the most common cores in uh, LC. And it be, just because it works very well and is very reliable at what it does. Granted, uh, Carve has definitely been falling off because uh, Krogunk and, Car and uh, Timber have only been getting more common. Scraggly's been seeing use. Mianfu is very common. Vullaby is common. Staryu is common. And all those Pokemon, it can't really break through very easily. But it can definitely uh, put in all, uh, quite a bit of work. And I, have a, and I have a lot of faith in this Pokemon. Now, the rest of the team is kind of weird. I'm going to warn you, this is not the most optimal, optimal Carvana team you can build. I had some fun with this team, decided to go with some less than optimal strats. And just all around have, just, yeah, as I said, have fun. That's the most important thing about this team. So next up is our Torchic, which is a Fireem Z Torchic. Um, basically, this is meant to wall break things, a lot of things. Uh, it's very effective at luring in bulky waters, which Carvana can take advantage of to some extent, like Marini. Uh, it's also it, Marini can also be trapped by Why Not. It, uh, it can al it also lures in uh, stuff like Staryu, which can potentially be taken advantage of by Chinchou, which you will see later. Stuff like that. It's an all around a pretty good lure for this, or a pretty good bait for this team. Um, Fire Blast is all hit, also just hits pretty damn hard. Uh, because of its high base power and the HP Grass is just incredible coverage with Fire Blast. Really only risking by fire types which are quite rare in LC. Uh, then we have Baton Pass which is not banned in Little Cup. Uh, we can pass that to most notably Timber which we'll go over in a bit. And Protect gives us a free speed boost if you want to. Uh, with Fire Ream Z we can break through a lot of the, quite a few different Pokemon like Timber, Mianfu, or Spritzy, Vullaby, stuff like that. Once your every light has been knocked off you do a shit ton of damage and can oftentimes kill them after a Fire Blast. Which is really, really useful. All around, this is a solid Pokemon. Uh, Torchic has, has been getting very popular recently. And I decided to just try a double speed boost core. See how it would work out. 
this this was where my team kind of started becoming suboptimal because running double speed boost means plus why not means you have very little room for the rest of your team, which is kind of needs to check the whole meta game, which is very very hard. Anyway, next up we have Timber, which as I said is the major recipient of Baton Pass. Um, mainly because it's it's really really scary once it has once it's fast. Timber it generally is a very good Pokemon already, um, but it's held down by its low speed to some extent. It's still S rank. It's still excellent, right? But when it gets a speed boost, it just becomes terrifying. It is it's very bulky, uh, pr very strong too, uh, with knockout and it has solid coverage. I run Thunder Punch on this set over the more standard Ice Punch or Bulk Up. Because Torchic lures in Marini, Timber destroys the Marini with Thunder Punch, which is really, really cool. As far as EVs go, max attack, standard, and then 12 speed, which uh, is a standard Timber set. I believe it outspeeds, yeah, it outspeeds the important things. Don't remember right now exactly what it is, because it's just standard. So I basically copy-pasted it, but yeah. Uh, a standard Timber set, nothing special really. Except for Thunder Punch, we already explained that. So... Now we have a really, really weird Vullaby, because I do not have a flying-type stab move. I'm running U-Turn, Knockoff, Roost, and Defog. I absolutely need a Defog on this team, because Torchic and Carvana do not like constantly taking that damage. I also really need a Roost, because it, this is really my only fighting check. It's also my Fungus check. It kinda, This is kind of my blanket check to everything in the metagame, which is kind of an issue. Uh, I also really need a Knockoff, because every LC team basically needs at least two Knockoff users. Um, and I only had one in Timber, and then I also need U-Turn to get Carvana, Why Not, or Torchic in for free, which is incredibly useful. It means I do not have space for Brave Bird, however, most opponents fear Brave Bird anyway, because they, Volibee uh, without Brave Bird doesn't really exist. So, you know, I, that is what I went with. Uh, usually you just click Knockoff or U-Turn and you go into, uh, into something that you'd like, or, you know, it's, it, it's really weird and kind of tough to play with, especially on a team that kind of relies on it to check fighting types. It's kind of stupid and honestly pro probably shouldn't have this, but you know, who cares? It's, fu it's a fun team, it's a fun team. Lastly, we have a Chinchou, Choice Scarf Chinchou, and you will be surprised at how many teams cannot deal with this Pokemon. I just opened the wrong program. Okay, doesn't matter. Go away, please. Please go away. Please go, thank you. Okay. And a surprising amount of teams just cannot really reliably deal with Chincho. Uh, Water Electric is just really good coverage because really only grounds when to switch into the Chincho to stop its Volt Switch, and then you just Hydro Pump them on the switch or your Ice Beam on the switch, and you get a kill. Uh, as you can see, I'm running Psy Beam in the last slot. This team has a Krogunk weakness, and this solves it to some extent. Like fast Krogunk is a big problem because it cannot be reliably trapped by Why Not due to knockoff. Uh, so Psy Beam kind of covers it. To some extent. So it's, it's, it's a cool tech. Hasn't exactly worked yet in testing. But who cares? It's fun. Again, fun team. Not amazing, but fun. That's that's what I went for this time around. Uh, and it's worked out. It's, a, it's really fun to play with this team. It's really, really fast. Uh, and really, really offensive. And I like that. I like playing around like that. Anyway, that's been it for the team builder. I'm going to see you guys in the first game. Goodbye. And we're back. We are facing Magnemite, Meowth, Mianfu, Lily... Star you and Hound Hour. Uh, this is certainly a unique team, uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I like teams that are a bit different from usual, uh, so I'll take it. He has no way of stopping my Chincho from Volt Switching, as in he has no ground type, so I think leading Chincho is safe. Though it's actually quite likely he leads his Meowth himself, so that could be problematic uh, for Chincho, but in, if that's the case, I'll just go Why Not immediately, so that's fine. He does lead Meowth. Uh, now, I'm actually going to Kelp me out first, why not, before making this hard switch. Uh, Meowth. Removing this immediately would be cool. If he has knockoff, which I'm kind of expecting. Uh, fake it to knockoff does kill me. Whatever, I, I have faith that he doesn't have knockoff. And now we counter. He is U-turn! Okay, that, that's a possible. Okay, that's bad. That's not good at all. I didn't think he'd have U-turn. I absolutely did not think he had U-turn. So now we go Timber, because I really want to knock this Mianfu off so that uh, Torchic Fire UZ actually kills it. Uh, let me calc that actually, real quick. I'm Fire UZ, yes, against Mianfu. 
assuming to be this set. Yeah, if we knock it off, it goes down, yeah. Oh my god. He missed high jump kick! Nice! Nice! Nice. And we also got a crit with knockoff. I was looking at the cow. <laughs> Sorry, dude. That's that's really me. Why would you go into this? I only got a free knockoff off. Thank you. Oh wow, he has no fighting checks. Uh, that's interesting. What does he do? What the hell did I just witness? What? What the fuck is going on? I mean... Okay? Sure. Uh, this Meowth isn't doing anything. I think Timbermine is gonna win at this point. Uh, actually, I should probably try to actually get a baton pass into this Timber, when I think about it. Eh, I'll just drain punch. I don't think he can kill me. Yes, I realize. He still doesn't kill me. Cool, cool, cool. And now we start looking for the speed pass into Timber. He goes Magnemite. I just go into Chinchou, which is free. And then we Volt Switch. Hey, Volt Absorb. Yay, I love Volt Absorb. And now we Volt Switch. I don't think he stays in. He protects. That works. It means he's not Scarf. That means he's... Wait, why does he, does he have Protect? What, is, what, am, what am I looking at? I... Go with Torture here, I think. Is he Volt Switch? Oh, Jesus, that did damage. Oh, right. Um, that's definitely analytic. There is literally no way in hell that is not analytic. I do not care that that is analytic. That has to be analytic. As uh, so he just goes for Skull. I know I have HP Grass, but that's not gonna do any damage. Not even, not even slightly. So we'll just Baton Pass here into Chinchou and click Volt Switch again. Because that loses me nothing. Which is cool. It's absolutely free. I did a free Volt Switch. Into whatever I want. Uh, I need this Staryu to be weakened before Carvana cleans. But Carvana can clean this game. So I'd love it if, if I'd, lo I'd love it if he stayed in here because then Carva I just go straight into Carvana. Because okay, he doesn't say it. He goes into Magnemite. That's fine. I know he's not Scarf, meaning my Carvana outspeeds him here. I get free Crunch here. Starry gets to it KO'd. Could be Ender's Berry Juice, I guess, but he's not. Cool. That's a free KO. Honestly, I can just keep going Chincha on the Star You keep Volt Switching every time. If, if he goes to Hound Hour, what? I just Waterfall. Wait, 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 wait. fuck. I, I realized it as soon after I clicked. Okay. Unfortunate. But I, now I just click Waterfall. Because Speed Boost is broken. Nice, Carvana putting in the work, that's cool. Slightly less than Timber, but still a lot. As he forfeits. Okay, yeah, that really, that game was basically over, so makes sense that he forfeits, to be honest. I don't think I have much to say. Uh, why not getting killed early on was kind of unfortunate, but otherwise... Yeah, it just... It, it, his team wasn't that great. Not Neither is mine, but his team definitely wasn't. SD Lilip is something... Uh, Unique, let's leave it at that. Anyway, I'm gonna go into the next one. I will see you guys there. And we're back, second game, and we are facing Alola Meowth, the Pharisee, Mantike, Skrelp, Chinchou, and Spritzy. Uh, this team has literally five, no, yeah, five Carvana checks. Why? Really, why? Why does this happen? Uh, I am certain he leads either Alola Meowth or Pharisee. But I'm gonna go Chinchou anyway, because Chinchou... Oh, uh, Chinchou can't fall switch for free down. Because of his Chinchou. Yeah, sucks. 
I can I don't have HP ground, so I cannot hit his Chin Chow. That's annoying. Uh, that's a good lead. Okay, he is going Chin Chow, right? I'm gonna full switch. He's going Chin Chow. Like I I couldn't not full switch there, right? Like. Really? He is... Volt Switch. He gets a free Volt Switch here. Unless I stay in. Which I'm going to do. He... <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> now what? Is he Scarf 2? <laughs> he is Scarf 4. <laughs> what did I do? What? What? <laughs> Amazing. But I run out of PP first, this is bad. I kind of need Chincho here. I like that it happened, but I have to I have to stop. I have to give it up. Because he, he was going to win that one. Due to him being uh Him him he had one more PP than me. So he was definitely winning. Which sucked. Anyway, I can free switch and torch. He also has Three torture checks. This is just. Oh, he's trick room. Why are you trick room with a little meowth? Hello? That's weird. This now dies to Fire Z. Which I don't know if he realizes. It's dead. Spritzy just died. Nice. Nice? Should have protected because I want to stall out trick room. Oh well, it's fine. Ish fine. It is fine. Don't like torture was super useful this game anyway. I just protect once. Uh, unless he go if he goes alone on me out, maybe I do something different. If he goes scrub, so I should protect once. And honestly, I probably protect again. Try to get the double protect off because why not? I do get it, that's cool. Um, and now we just baton pass into something, but I haven't yet figured out into what. I'll baton pass into Vullaby, I guess. Wait, I passed the minus spdf, that's not good. That's really shitty. Uh, do I need this Vullaby? I really don't, I'm just gonna knock off. And then I'll trap it with why not. Is it worth trapping this with why not? Yeah, I have to trap this with why not, I think. He kills me, that's fine. Uh, I kinda wanna trap the Pharisee to... Eh, I, I, oh, I might be able to trap both. There's oh, mirror code here. I think he specs. Or a scarf. Oh no, wait. I don't... He's not choice, is he? You might just be FU Light. Oh, right, I knocked off his FU Light. Never mind, I know what he is. Uh, what? You know, he's. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Hi. Huh? Rain then. He is also Rain. This is such an interesting team, I like it. Rain is almost gone now. I just got Timber and click knockoff. Moving this thing's item. Uh, he did damage to me. I'll just knock off. Uh, I can just go why not again. Because I now know that I outspeed him, which means that going why not is free here. Is he sludge bombs? I mirror code now, and if he sets up Rain Dance again, I encore him again. And this time I crunch. Okay, he does this again. I just encore him here. Yeah, I just go Carvana and I click crunch. Yeah, 
This doesn't take us that well. Is he berry juice? He is. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. Uh, I kind of want to go why not now again. Trap this. It's pretty good. Got him. I got this now. He's not trapped. For sure. Uh, encore. Just to make sure I actually get this kill. What? When did I lose my berry juice? Okay, whatever. He I, I can trap him anyway. I thought I still had my berry juice. When did it activate? What did it activate on? Okay, I guess I forgot about something. I don't know what happened there. Oh, yes, too many Carvana checks, man. That's annoying. No, wait, I should definitely go uh, Chincho here. Uh, I go Scything. It will kill this, and it will at least hit the Chincho. Yeah, it's not happening again. Yay! I don't think he can hit me <laughs> either. Uh, he might go into his load on the house now, actually. He doesn't full switch here. No way that he full switches here. I've used my Z move on the Sprit Z. I'll side him again. He stays in. He does no leaves. I think I win this. Should win this. As he goes that, okay, that's fine. Uh, oh, he got confused. That's interesting. I think I just sack Torchic now. Go Carvana, click Crunch. Sack Torchic, click Car uh, go Car uh, sack or uh, yeah. Sack this, go Carvana, and Crunch should do a mill. Uh, or yeah, I'll go Carvana, I'll go Carvana. I don't think he can do too much to me. If Carvana actually sweeps here, even though there are that many Carvana checks on him. Uh, this isn't the okay then. That was an interesting switch in. Now, I'm pretty sure he fakes out. So I protect on the fake out. He went for HP fighting. He might have been Scarf. Regardless, I just crunch again. Uh, this is so close to actually cleaning. It might clean now. This dies to Psychic Fangs. Might be able to win here. At this point. Chincho is Choice Scarf, which I can safely assume considering he kept Volt switching on my Chincho. Scrub goes down. I don't know how much to do to Mantike exactly. Can I beat this Chincho without Carvana? I need Carvana to kill the Chincho at this point. This is gonna be so awkward to finish off. Hmm, I'm gonna crunch. That did good damage. He kills me. Because now things get really, really awkward. I'm gonna side beam. Side beam is the play. If this is rest talk, oh no, that did nothing. That buy not that done been enough. I'm surprised he rain danced. He airs like that does nothing. Okay, okay, we're fine. I outspeed him somehow. He's really slow for a swift swimmer. I think I put the Chincho into back punch range with one more side beam. Thank god I'm not running T-Bolt as the last move on this. Otherwise I'd let I've lost this. That was a weird play. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was awkward. I don't know if I won every speed tie or or if he's modest Chincho. Very confused. Or if he isn't Scarf and kept Volt switching for no reason at all. I'm confused. 
Anyway, that was it for game two, I guess. Weird game so far. Let's see what we get in game three. And we're back, and this is at least a more standard team than what we've seen before. Now, his lead is Dwebel. That is literally the most obvious lead I have seen in the universe up to, up to this point. So I'm leading Timber. There's the Dwebel. Yep, okay, got it. We're gonna knock off. We're gonna knock off, then we're gonna drain punch. I don't want him to get up all his hazards. Oh, he's a weak armor. Perfect. Now he definitely dies to drain punch. I'm just gonna defog with uh, my Volubi on like Scraggy or something. I see he knocks me off as well. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. As I killed him as well. The total. I just need to not let him set up his uh, Auroraville with Volpix. He goes Conny. I'm going uh, Volubi and defog immediately. He did that. Some oh, that's actually awkward. That changes things. Okay, we'll, we'll go Torch We'll go Torch instead. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We can just fire blast here. Has he set momentum? He does set momentum. Interesting. If he goes full picks, I go into why not? He goes Scraggy. Uh, okay, I'll go Timber. I don't think he can win yet. Which is why I find this a really weird play. He has knockoff, but you already knocked me off before. Why did you make this play? Why did you do that? Now I'm going to knock you off. That's the Shadow Walls, that did a lot. But his Ghastly is now dead. Uh, I'm going to go hard into Why Not. He does that. Oh my fucking god. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. So now we mirror code. Now here's the thing. He's going to try to set up right, right with one of these two. Which means I destiny bomb. Uh, no, actually I think I encore. Or do I destiny bomb? I should encore. Oh what, I'm faster? Oh, okay, it didn't matter anyway. Defog really badly, but that might just give him the setup he needs right now. Wait, he's really slow, right? He's 12 speed, he's 13 speed max. It could be 13. I wish I debomb it there, that was well would have been better. I'll defog here. No out speed. Can't prevent him from setting up at this point. But I don't know if he kills my Chinchon. He probably does, to be honest. He smashes. Saw that one coming. I might have to depend on uh, winning some 50 50 sir. I uh, probably does kill me, honestly. Yeah, he does. Okay, that's really awkward. Now, I'm, okay, here's the thing I need double protect. And I've gotten it already once. So I doubt I'm getting it again. He might just smash here. He doesn't smash. Okay, that's cool. Does he smash on this turn? I don't get it. Now I have to get it on uh, Torchic. <laughs> we can just try again. We can keep trying, really. Uh, but at first I'll go into Timber and click Mark Punch. Make sure that he's actually in HP cross range. Which he may have been already. Torchic can win this game if I get the double protect. He goes for Razor Shell. Now I need it. I need it now. Let's go. I didn't get it again. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I just got <laughs> swept by his Elder. That's bound to happen with this team, honestly. Uh, especially since I just misplayed with the Destiny Bond. That was stupid. I should have definitely Destiny Bonded because even if he smashes, 
Um, at worst, I uncover him into smash the next turn. So yeah, this demon a demon was to play there. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had a good time. I know the team wasn't as serious as I normally do, but whatever, right? Who cares? Uh, just we just have some fun here. Double speed boost is pretty cool, and I didn't get a double protect twice here, which is kind of sad. But who cares, right? It's, it was just a fun team. So I thank you all so much for watching. Uh, next time we are going into OU. Uh, with Gengar, I don't know. I can't tell you why I'm only getting OU, UU, uh, OU, OU, and LC Pokemon. But uh, whatever, we're just going into OU uh, with Gengar, and the team is old and it's kind of shitty. But who cares? I'm gonna see you guys there. I'm out. Peace.